Welcome back to a new video. Today I wanted to give you guys my wishlist for season 7. Guys confirmed that we will get season 7 in March and they also confirmed that we will get two new maps but they haven't talked about what guns will come to the game or what the maps will exactly look like, what combat will be on the maps like will they be infantry only or will they be like all out war conquest with tanks, jets and stuff. So today I just want to go over what I want from season 7. Originally I wanted to type to this video my expectations for season 7 but since I no longer have any expectations for this game this video is more of a wish list of things I would love to see for season 7. So let's start by talking about maps. We know that we will get two new maps this time around. One is in Chile, one is in the Middle East and the first look we had of the Chile map looked like the map was in a more urban environment something we haven't gotten in Battlefield 2042 for quite a while. So. What do I expect from these maps? First of all, I expect a lot of natural cover, like in older Battlefield games. I think even after the reworks with like the shipping containers and the sandbags, most if not all Battlefield 2042 maps, maps lack a lot of cover in a lot of areas, especially since I have a feeling all the maps got reworked more for like breakthrough than actual conquest and I hope they fix these mistakes with the new maps where you can actually cross certain sections without getting like shot from like 500 angles and you having no cover. Another thing I want is enough space for infantry away from vehicles so that you don't get farmed by them. A big reason why I stopped playing conquest starting with Battlefield 5 and now also with 2042 and I rather play breakthrough is that vehicles are so strong and there's so much open space that as an infantry player you don't really have a lot of options to where you can go if you don't want to run into vehicles. So I hope they fix this with the new maps where you have designated sectors where you can play as an infantry and have fun and if you want vehicle combat or vehicle versus infantry there are also designated spots on the map where this can happen. And the last thing I want from the maps is that breakthrough is getting played without vehicles. I think the most unfun breakthrough rounds are those or breakthrough maps rather are those where vehicles get involved. I think we currently have infantry breakthrough in the game and the mode plays so much better than with vehicles. Of course there might be some points of interest on the map where you need vehicles to get through there and break through and if you have like one tank for like one spot I think that's okay but I hope they don't overdo it. So now let's talk about guns. First of all I will talk about what gun changes I would like to see and then I will talk about what new guns I think they should add to the game. Now first of all we need a VHX nerf. I think pretty much everybody in the community now knows that the VHX is just broken and needs to be nerfed. How would I nerf the gun? First of all increase its recoil. The gun has no recoil and I think that's one of its biggest upsides and also the biggest problem since basically everybody can just laser you across the map. And next up I would also nerf its headshot damage. I know the headshot multiplier is the same as other assault rifles but since the base damage of the gun is so high you can actually two tap people I think up to like 10 meters and that's just broken so I would actually love to see the headshot damage got nerfed to like 1.9 1.8 something like this. Now the next change they actually need to fix the portal guns reload. Currently I don't know if you noticed but even when in game the animation is finished where the magazine is back in the gun you usually still can't shoot and you need and you need to wait like an extra I think 0.5 seconds or something and this makes portal guns really bad to play since you think you have reloaded but you can't like shoot or use the gun so I think they need to fix this. The next thing I would like to see changing is the bullet velocity on snipers. Currently if you want to play long distance sniping the best gun is literally the rail gun because it's basically hit scan up to like 400-500 meters and to make the normal bolt action snipers compete with this I would like to see an increase in bullet velocity. While we're talking about bullet velocity the GVT4570 also needs a bullet velocity buff. I picked out the gun a few nights ago because I wanted to train my headshot aim a little bit and the bullets on the gun are flying so slow you literally need to like pre-aim like crazy even if the guy is like 10 or 15 meters away so I think the gun need definitely needs bullet velocity buff. And the last thing I would like to see above or change through would be throwing knives. I currently think the throwing knife pullout speed when you see somebody and you press, press your grenade key is just too slow. I think the throwing speed or like the speed at what the knife flies it's all fine that it one shots it's all fine but the time it takes you to like 
pull out the throwing knife and actually throw the stamp thing. It takes way too long, completely unusable. Please buff the animation. Now as for what new guns I would like to see. First of all, dice. Please add at least 5 new guns instead of 3. We have waited I think like 19 weeks now for new guns. And I think 3 guns is just too little, so please add 5, even if you add, need to add like a portal gun or something. But please make it 5 guns. So what guns would I actually like to see? First of all, Glock 18. I know we already have a fully automatic pistol in the game with the PF51, but I think the gun is more like a P90 mini version instead of like the normal Glock would, or at least what a normal player would expect from a Glock. And yes, I also know that the starting pistol is a Glock, but it's a burst gun. And when I think about the Glock 18, I actually expect a fully automatic pistol. And here's how I would implement the gun. Literally give me a Glock, make it fully automatic. Of course, add like, I think the Glock shoots with like 1100 or 1200 rounds per minute added to the game but only give it like a maximum of like 21 or 24 bullets with an extended mag so you have a bit of variety you know if you want a fully automatic secondary with a lot of bullets you can use the pf51 the pocket p90 if you want a glock with a bit more rounds you can use the starting pistol but then it's a burst gun and if you really want to use a close combat fully automatic pistol that shreds people you can use the Glock 18, but then you also only have like 20 bullets, so at most you can kill like two people before you need to reload. The next gun I would like to see is the MP7. I have no clue why they haven't added an MP7 yet, and especially with like, I think we have like five SMGs currently in the game, at least like standard Battlefield 2042 guns, I think we have like eight in total, in total. but the MP7, it was in, I think, almost every Battlefield game, at least it was in Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, so why is it not in 2042? It's a super fun gun, it's a really cool looking gun, so I think they should just add the gun. The next gun I would like to see is actually the UMP9. I know the PBX is kinda like the UMP9, just named differently, but I think the PBX feels too different. The PBX shoots like really fast with decent damage and is usable on range but I think what really makes the UMP the UMP is a really slow fire rate but really high damage and the PBX just shoots a bit too fast for that so I would love to see the UMP9 put into the game with a really slow fire rate but great damage over range. And lastly I would love to see the M98B from Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 returning. The gun is already available in Portal so they just have to port the gun over. And yeah, I would love to see those four guns and then one more but I leave the last gun up to dice so they can decide on what they want to add. And now for the last thing on my wish list, I need to talk about the season pass and also season 8. Before I go into detail on what changes I would like to see to the season pass, first of all I have to talk about when we can expect season 8. So I think a lot of people in the community already figured out that season 8 will probably be the last season of Battlefield 24. 42. And we also don't know when the next Battlefield will release. It could be either at the end of this year, but I think it's more likely to see the next Battlefield in 2025, so next year. So now that we know that the next Battlefield will probably release in 2025, the question is when will we see Season 8? I think DICE wants to make it so that they stretch out Season 7 and Season 8 over like the rest of this year of 2024 so that it doesn't feel like there's a lot of nothingness until the next Battlefield releases and so that like the time between the end of season 8 and the new Battlefield is only like 5 months, 6 months or something. So with that said, this would mean that season 7 will probably go another like 19 or 20 weeks and when DICE already knows that we will have season 7 for at least like 19 weeks like we did with season 6, I would like to see an increase in the battle pass. Currently we have 100 tiers and I think I finished my 100 tiers like in week 8 or week 9 so currently there really isn't a reason to touch the game and I hope that the next season pass when I already know that the season takes like 19 weeks I hope they at least up the rewards to like 120 or something and then and then I also hope the last 20 tiers more are not like charms and stickers and stuff nobody cares about but really cool skins they probably won't do it and we will get another 100 tier battle pass but this would at least be something I would really like to see you know that the season takes longer make the battle pass longer so people have at least a reason to play the game but that's basically it for my wish list will anything of this come true i have absolutely 
no clue. We'll probably get a shitty battle pass again, three basic guns and the maps will probably be half decent, half not. But I'm now interested in hearing your wish list for season 7. What are some of the guns you would like to see? What do you expect from the maps? And what do you expect from the season pass? And do you think we will get like a normal 14 week season and then we will get season 8? Or do you think they will try to stretch out season 7 again like they did with season 6 and then and that we get season 8 in like yeah 20 weeks something? like that let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and as always if you enjoyed the video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future battlefield content thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one